watching Wrecked. Up next, O'Hare proves they'll do whatever it takes to beat the competition. On Wrecked, January on Speed is wide freaking open. Bill Graziano runs O'Hare towing with an iron fist. Then get that other box inside, throw it away, and I'm on a fast answer with that. Are you kidding me? Today, four trucks are down, and it's up to Joey to get them back out on the road fast. This truck's got to be making us money tonight. Joey's role in the shop right now is to keep tow trucks running. We have a very unique relationship because sometimes it's father-son, sometimes it's brother-brother, and sometimes it's boss and employee. Now I'm trying to figure out what the truck number 308's problem is. And what the computer's saying here is it's got a fried ECU. That's not good. Now that he's all cranked up, I gotta go in there and tell him we gotta spend like $4,000 on a new ECU. I ain't spending any more money until I get the truck fixed. Okay. If you don't do something the way he wants to be done, your life gets really hard. My difficulty in that is, I got a lot more to do than him. Base 2, 903, 903. I'm over to 290 westbound, 290 westbound and 294. Looks like we've got a tender duty on the uh, semi-versus the car. Three advisors, there's going to be fuel on the seat. There's a fuel facility. An SUV sideswipes a tractor trailer on a crowded highway, damaging the fuel tank. Joey climbs into one of the only operational wreckers and hits the road. He must contain the leak quickly to avoid a full-blown hazmat operation. I'm pretty excited. I want to get out there. I want to see what's going on. I got a tractor trailer versus a car. I'm trying to figure out where my closest service trucks are, where my secondary tow truck is. If I need help, metal over the metal, I got to get out there. Not to say I, I, I breed on other people's misfortune, but man, I really need a good truck rack right now. 502, shut those lights down. I'm gonna be pulling in here real fast. Driver's side of the tank is very, very well damaged, unable to turn. Lady broadside, basically. Yes. She hit the full hard, she about knocked me out of the driver's seat. We got a little bit of a diesel fuel spill. It's a minor leak, but if the fuel tank ruptures anymore, they'll have to stop all westbound traffic on I-290. Joey's first task is to determine how much fuel remains in the 40-gallon tank. He's half full. Joey calls in a heavy-duty road service crew to help him haul away the fuel from the damaged tank. He's going to hear me pumping off the diesel fuel in the one uh, compensated tank just before it starts leaking all over the joint. Not only does the fuel tank make this a dangerous job, but Joey and his team are working just feet from cars speeding by. One wrong move, and the game could change fast. Working on the sides of roads and highways is a lethal occupation. Each year, approximately 60 tow truck operators are killed in roadside accidents. Think about where the tow truck operator is in relation to the highway. He's in a real bad spot, and there's no other way to do, to, to do the job other than to be in a bad spot. This part is real dangerous because I've got traffic on one side of me. And I'm actually in what's called a kill zone. If somebody were to rear in this truck, you can imagine with my head in between this much steel, Working with heavy equipment in such a small area means these drivers risk their lives every time they step out of their truck. And we're out there performing a service that necessarily doesn't have the respect of the motoring public. They almost have become numb to the, to the amber light. So we've gotten some situations that are almost kind of doomed for failure. I mean, if something happens, it's catastrophic. I mean, there's, it's a fatality. From, from a guy just trying to tow a car in, or changing a tire, or putting gas in, it's, it's sad. And then we get that blue barrel loaded up, we're out of here. O'Hare's reputation is built on doing the best job in the shortest time possible. If they slack, they'll start losing toes to other companies. Officer gave me a deadline of, I think it's 11.30, he told me 12. I gotta be out of here. We're gonna meet that standard, probably beat it by 
have some time. With the fuel tank empty, Joey backs up to the wreck. To reduce the time in the kill zone, Joey uses a remote control to position the tow bar. Uh, this is my remote for the power touch. I don't have to run my controls. I can look right underneath the truck and I can run it. He raises the semi's front end with the wheel lift. After a quick chain down, he's on his way, and the scene is clear. I was pretty excited when I first came out here. The one I saw was on a fuel tank. I was like, like, really, what I'm really looking for is I want to get challenged. Up next. Hey, come on, run this truck! A 35,000-pound excavator lies on its side, helpless in the middle of a busy intersection, until O'Hare's heavy-duty wreckers show up. And Joey puts it into overdrive as he works to get O'Hare's fleet back in action and his big brother off his back. He's about to get a right hook to the eye. 